Hi, everybody. It's Wanda. So today I have a nine-inch round, nine-inch diameter aluminum circle here that my friend sent me that's an eighth of an inch thick. So you can tell right here there's a cut where the laser cut into it, but I think the paint's probably going to cover that up. So I'm not too worried about that. So I have mixed up some purple iris apple barrel with some of my sergeant's pearl medium in it. And I also had a little bit of the hologram paint left over, so I put a little of that in there. This is of uh, the Folk Art Ice Blue Metallic. And I had a little bit of the sky left over. That's the Target paint that I like so much. That's a pearl. And I just put that in with it and darkened it just a little bit. Prussian Blue that I added the hologram paint to is very glittery. And then, um, and this is Anita's, and it's supposed to be pearl blue, but it looks green. So it is just regular. I don't think I added anything to it. So paints are mixed, one part paint to two parts or less of Floetrol. And the only one that I think I had to put any water in at all was this one. Uh, but this one had been mixed up for a while, the Prussian Blue, and it was already kind of thin. So you can't really go by that. But I'm going to layer, and then I'm going to try to do a wandering ring pour straight across and see what happens. I'm guesstimating on how much paint I need. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have way too much, but I'll give it a go. So, move these out of the way. I think I'm going to start up here where that cut is because I want to be sure I get a lot of paint on it. Um, I did prime this and I used the uh, Zinser 123 All Purpose Primer. It's supposed to be for every surface. So we'll see how that goes. Thought I had this thin enough to pour good, I'm not so sure. I love that Anita's color. It says that it's blue, but it looks green. It looks like a mint green. Had a little bit left. I guess whenever I get it over to the edge, I'm just gonna have to hold the edge of the thing because I didn't put anything underneath it for me to hold on to. I really didn't even think about it. Ooh, I may not have too much paint. Maybe should have poured that slower.
There we go. Looks good enough. So let's see if we got enough left. I see sparkles. From that hologram paint. Hope y'all can see it. I didn't think about my thumb being in the way. I'm so excited over these colors, I can't think. Make sure I have all those edges covered. Since it was primed. So I'm gonna tilt it back this way a little bit. I'm afraid my edges are gonna show all the way around. If you want to know why my table is uneven, it's because it's not a table. It's a patio table base that I put a set of bifold closet doors on top of and then covered it with um, foam core and plastic to make myself a poor table. So... You see how this edge right here looks like it's peeking? That's what happened last time I did a primer base on it. I think maybe next one I will pour the Artist Loft Flow White acrylic on it and use that as my primer, let it dry. Use that as my primer because it's a nice matte base which might grab the paint. And it could be that because um, this is metallics that it's running a little bit thinner um, Showing a little more transparency and showing through a little bit more Because I mean, I don't I'll keep it for myself if it looks terrible, but um, I Love the pattern That I got the design and that looks like one blob of blue that's just thicker than the other. But I think it turned out pretty. I love how it turned out. So I will give you all a close-up of it and let you see. And the way I'm gonna hang this on the wall is with a couple of those command picture hanging strips. They don't damage your wall. They're, you, they're like Velcro to each other and you just put one against this thing and then peel the back side off and stick it on the wall and it's there. So I'm real happy with this and I love these colors. I think these colors are great together. So the purple, adding the purple was a good idea. So thanks so much for watching. I just found out tonight that I got my 500th subscriber and I am so grateful. It just tickles me to death. So thank you so much for joining me, for watching me, for subscribing. And I invite you to come back, spend a little time with me. You never know what I'm up to. You're not going to believe this, but I'm going to pour a lampshade in the next few days. And it's not a cloth lampshade. So that will be fun. So 
I'll take the camera down, give you a little close up, and thank you so much again. Okay, I'm gonna tilt my camera <laughs> and go this way so that you all don't see the light uh, reflecting off of it so bad, but now you're gonna get my shadow, but there's, it's this crazy light down here in my basement. I have like four ceiling lights. So, this is how it looks. I think it looks like a planet with the stuff circulating around it in the atmosphere and orbit around it or whatever. I think it looks cool. I like it. I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this. I did get some cell action. Not real cells, but just a nice blending. So, thank you again.